Movie makers have been placing humans in stasis to send them to faraway places for decades. Now scientists are moving closer to making this a reality for space travel. NASA has partnered with aerospace engineering firm Spaceworks Enterprises in Atlanta to study how humans could be put into a prolonged deep sleep while they're traveling to Mars. Using technology available today, the journey from Earth to the Red Planet would take about 180 days. Keeping a crew of people alive for that long requires a lot of food, water and energy. NASA and Spaceworks scientists believe that putting the crew in a deep sleep, called torpor, could dramatically reduce the cost of human expedition to Mars. By putting the crew in this torpor uh, state, we not only reduce their consumables, their oxygen and food requirements, we also minimize the type of support systems that we need en route to Mars. So they don't need a large, voluminous habitat uh, to occupy themselves in. Uh, going there, we can put them in a very small container and um, consequently then save mass, save on power and uh, enable us to get to Mars easier. We want to put our resources on Mars, not spend a lot just to get there. In a state of torpor, metabolic and physiological activity on humans are drastically slowed down. To put them into stasis, the scientists would reduce a crew member's body temperature by about 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, for instance through a nasally inhaled coolant. During stasis, the crew would be fed through an IV tube, and to wake them up, the flow of cooling agent would be stopped. Doctors have been inducing therapeutic torpor or hypothermia in critical care trauma patients in hospitals for years, but typically patients stay in that state for just a few days to give their bodies time to recover. One of the challenges for scientists is how to extend the time humans can remain in stasis with minimal effects on the human body. They say an alternative might involve a shift system where crew members rotate through cycles of being awake and in deep sleep. There are other challenges as well. One area we have not touched is kind of psychologically uh, with the crew and those, there's concerns and big challenges there with having a, you know, people in a very small area, basically fairly isolated uh, from the world. And typically space flight is fairly challenging for things like muscle atrophy, bone demineralization uh, effects from this zero gravity environment. Uh, but uh, we believe the reduced metabolic state will mitigate some of those effects and will actually slow, uh, slow those down. The scientists believe that putting crew members in a torpor state could reduce the cost of Mars missions by 50%, which would ultimately give them the opportunity to do more missions and send more people to the Red Planet.